Good afternoon. Uh, I'd like to call to order the Sacramento Public Library Authority. Uh, it's three o'clock and uh, Roxana, if you could please take the roll call and read the meeting statement. Thank you. Patrick Kennedy. Larry Carr. Here. Phil Cerna. Here. Jeff Slowey. Here. Darren Soon. Here. Sue Frost. Here. Jay Chenier. Here. Saul Hernandez. Here. Don Natoli. Eric Guerra, Garrett Gatewood. Here. This meeting of the Sacramento Public Library Authority is being videotaped in its entirety and will be cable cast without interruption on Metro Cable 14, the government affairs channel on the Comcast Consolidated Communications and AT&T UVerse cable systems, and will be webcast at www sacmetrocable.tv. Today's meeting is being shown live and will be repeated at 4 p.m. on Saturday, August 24th and at 2 p.m. on Sunday, August 25th on Channel 14. This meeting is closed captioned. A DVD copy will be available for checkout from any library branch no later than two weeks following today's meeting. A public copy of the full agenda including reports, is available for viewing at the back table and is available on the library website at www.saclibrary.org. Members of the audience wishing to address the board should complete a speaker identification form located at the back table and give it to the clerk. Please speak into the microphone when addressing the board and state your name for the record. Comments are limited to three minutes so that everyone may be heard. In consideration of others, please silence your cell phone at this time. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Director Slowey, will you please lead us in the pledge? Please stand. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, now I'd like to uh, uh, move to item two, public comment on matters not on the agenda. I have one speaker card in front of me. If anyone else would like to speak on matters not on the agenda, please go ahead and submit a card. I have John Krieger. Krieger, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, could you say that again? <laughs> it's uh, John Kriege. Kriege, oh, excuse yeah, me. Thank Sacramento you. Public Library user for over 60 years. Um, is that right? Stereo? Okay. Uh, the new library website launched early this year is not an improvement over the previous website. The function I am most unhappy with is my lists. I use my list to save items that I want to check out in the future. I read a review for a book, a movie, or CD and save it to my list. On the previous website, the display was a simple list, including title, author, catalog number, and date added. I could easily scroll through my list, usually selecting the oldest item for checkout. On the new website, my list is displayed with lots of unneeded information, like all the available formats for the item, book, ebook, audiobook, and every branch that has it. So for some items, I can only see that one item on my monitor without scrolling. And my list is now divided into separate pages, 20 items to a page. I have saved 103 items, so I have to click through six, six pages to see them all. As I said, I generally check out the oldest items on the list first. The website has a sort option for by date added, but I don't think it works. The last item on the last page does seem to be the newest item I added, but the first items on the first page do not seem to be the oldest items. I can't tell for sure because the date added is not displayed as it was previously. Other functions like reading history have the option to download to Excel so I can more easily sort and search. My list does not. But my biggest complaint is that I can't find anyone who can address my complaint. No one seems to be able to direct me to anyone responsible for the website design. I've used the contact feature on the website more than once. I get an email thanking me for my contact and saying I will get a reply as soon as possible. 
I have never received a reply. I have asked at my branch library. They asked me to fill out a blue suggestion card. I did, still no reply. I have used the chat feature on the website. They told me to contact my branch library. My branch library was at least able to tell me about this meeting and that you took public comments. There is no mention of your meetings on the library website. Thank you. Thank you, John. We'll make a note of that, Rivka. Okay. Appreciate it. Um, I don't have any other speaker cards in front of me. Uh, with that, I'm going to move to uh, item three, presentations. Do we have any from Library Foundation? Hi, Good Jim. afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Jim Deringer, the chair of the board of the Library Foundation. Um, just wanted to mention a few things that are going on. We've got, um, uh, actually, as we speak, there's the third or fourth meeting of the um, Literacy Summit that is occurring, and um, actually at my offices. <laughs> um, so uh, the Library Foundation is the convening organization for, um, for that summit, which, as I've mentioned before, involves a number of different organizations in the community who care about literacy. Uh, one of the products of that whole initiative has been the Literacy Day, which uh, is set for September 8th. And um, there have been a number of Literacy Day proclamations that I think you know, a number of you have participated in up to this point. Yeah. So on September 8th, we're going to have a press conference at Colonial Heights Branch. And I believe Council McGarrah is going to make a presentation there. Thank you. Um, the other thing I want to mention is just our annual Walk for Literacy, which is scheduled for October 26th. Uh, we'd love for you to put that on your calendars. It's, uh, we're trying to grow the number of walkers. And uh, starting last year, Sac State is heavily involved in this now, uh, which is they provide a lot of volunteers, and uh, the event is getting more visibility as a result. And the walk will actually end at Sac State. So, um, you know, that's a great source of new donors for us, um, but it also just kind of increases the general visibility of the foundation and the literacy community. So I hope you'll all participate in that. That's my report. Great. Thank, Thank you, you, Jim. I appreciate your efforts on, on uh, literacy. 3.2, I have Friends of the Sacramento Public Library. Do we have anybody here from the Friends? Yes, Rivka. Uh, President Scurry is out of town attending a wedding and uh, just wanted to uh, uh, say that their fiscal work is continuing and they expect to hear by the end of the year about their new 509 organization. Okay, thank you very much. With that, I'm going to move to uh, item four, closed session, pursuant to government code section 54957 for a meeting pertaining to personnel, performance evaluation of the library director. We'll be back. Okay, uh, we're turning back from closed session. Um, I'll refer to our board council to report out. Um, the board directed council to prepare to prepare a contract amendment for consideration at the next regular board meeting related to um, our executive director, or. CEO or library director, <laughs> however we want to <laughs> refer to her. Many names. Okay, thank you. Uh, moving on to item five, director's report. Rivka. In the interest of time, I will refer the board to my written report. I want to mention a couple of things, though, for your, uh, uh, we really hope that you will be able to attend our Career Online High School graduation, which is Thursday, September 19th. Um, it's, it's a very inspiring evening because these are adults. Uh, Director Natoli was our impromptu commencement speaker last year, and it was great. Um, but it's a really, really inspiring evening because these are adults who um, finally have achieved the dream of getting a high school diploma, and it's yeah. kind of amazing, and their whole family show, show up and everybody cheers. So I mm. um, hope you'll make time for that. Saturday, September the 7th is uh, the 10th anniversary celebration for the Valley High North Laguna Library, um, which opened 
five days after I arrived here to be library director, so I think of it as um, as the present that I got for coming to Sacramento. So hope you can join us. More information will be coming out about that. And shall we? We, we have something to show you. Director Carr has been working very hard on the exterior of the building. So oh. I'm going to show you um, a little video. Roll tape <laughs> <laughs> or whatever you say. See? Nice. Grab yourself. I want to thank Brian Strand from our marketing and communications department for editing it and making some nice music go along. But kudos Great. to you. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Director Carr. Go ahead. Sorry, you have something to say? It was, a, it was a good project to work on. What we're trying to do is fulfill one of the things that people asked me to do when I first got elected, and that was to bring more art to our district. We don't have much public art. And it's a driving district, so you need things you can look at while you're driving down the street. Mm -hmm. And the other thing we wanted to do is to make the library more welcoming, especially at night, and to provide some visual interest to draw people in that this is a place that you want to be. So uh, it was a pleasure to do it, and uh, thank you for letting us, and look forward to the celebration. Well done. Rivka, do you want to continue with your report? I did have one more thing I wanted to add, and that is um, after uh, the death of Amber Clark, we uh, talked about creating a suitable memorial. And um, there are a number of projects in the works, but today we heard from the insurance company that they have uh, approved our little refresh of the teen space that has been named in her honor. I'm sorry, Director Ashby isn't here to hear the news. I just wow. got it, just right around the lunchtime. Um, I got a text from our ins insurance broker. Um, it's nice. been a conversation of a few months, but we're really touched and pleased and honored to be able to remember Amber in an area that, you know, serving people that she loved. So just uh, wanted to mention that too. Thank you, absolutely. I'm sure her family will appreciate that as well. Is that it for the report? Okay, thank you. Uh, moving on to item six, information. Um, I have a 6.1 monthly financial report, June 2019, 6.2 quarterly treasurer's report, quarter four, June 2019. Any comments or questions from our board? I'm seeing none. Uh, I'm gonna move on to item seven, uh, consent calendar. And do I have any board members that have any questions or Comments for the consent calendar? Okay, see, okay, and before we thank you, uh, Director Carr, I'm gonna note that. I'm gonna go out to the public comment and I see Jim Deringer submitted a card as well. Talk about 7.6, Jim. Well, as I uh, stated in an email to the board members a couple of days ago, um, I would respectfully request on behalf of the foundation that this matter be removed from this agenda if the board wants to postpone it, that's fine, but I, you know, it's a controversial item and I think it'd be helpful to be able to deal with it um, in first, at least, in something other than a public session. So I gave my reasons for that, I believe, in the email. I'm prepared to speak on it further if we go forward, but I, um, I'd like to renew the request that that matter be dropped from this agenda. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate those comments. Okay, I'm bringing it back to the board. Uh, I've seen no other for further public comments, but I'm bringing it back to the board for any questions or action. I'll second the motion. Okay, I still have a first, and a first from Director Carr to move, second from Director Slowey. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oppose, abstain? Okay, motion passes. Moving on to. Oh, excuse me, but the motion to what? 
pass the consent calendar. There was no there was no direction or motion to remove, uh, in your case, item 7.6. Got it. Yeah. Moving on to eight reports, ideas, and questions from board members. Any? I'm seeing none from my board members. Okay, with that, I'm going to move to item nine. Adjourn. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have speakers out there? <laughs> <laughs>